All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. For my money, Mike is the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Exciting man in mixed martial arts is today. I trust the answer just might be Justin Ray Gaethje. Realized a major championship outside the UFC. He has really taken this promotion by storm since signing with the MMA leader a few years ago. I mean, pace, pressure, aggressiveness, just keenness, a mentality that only allows him to pursue victory. Watching him against Edson Barbosa, withstand some of the strikes that he took to get the knockout was a sight to behold. Oh. The fight against Michael Johnson in his UFC debut. Michael Johnson was a top five guy in the world, and Justin Gaethje completely melted him with pressure and pace. Just one of the most active guys in the UFC on the roster. More bonuses than UFC fights, need I Unreal. say more. Justin Unreal. Gaethje back for more tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Ladies Bruce and gentlemen, Buffett. this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 23 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Iron Michael Chan! Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 23 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, gave And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. These guys throwing early. While he continues to stay busy, what do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches and bunches. He's landing upside his opponent's head over and over again. He throws the right hand there. Head off the center line, slips the punch. I've always thought one of Justin Gates' most underrated strikes is that left hook. He throws it really tight. He keeps his right hand up when he's throwing the left hook. And he lands it over and over again. Oh, that big knee, knee there. That knee hurt him. Oh! Get right here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Just misses with the straight right. By Gaethje. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. What a beautiful kick. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. 
you feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He lands the head kick. Over and over, he's getting to this clinch position. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Fight numbers for you now. 29 total strikes now for Justin Gaethje. And they clinch once again. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Flush right hand is true. Punches blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. I mean, he's cutting down the side with his beautiful leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, nice job by Gaethje to land and then roll with the punches. We talk a lot about his legendary chin, but maybe he doesn't get enough credit for the striking defense and his ability to move that head off the center line. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. And he landed the right hand there. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. 20 seconds left. Good, solid strike on the ground. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Take a seat, bud. Breathe, relax, man. Everything's good. You're fine, okay? We got a cut, but he's cut too. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? The second round on the way. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch, Lynn. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, that right hand is on point. Slips the punch. Nice strike. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. He blocks the punch. Back and forth we go here. Big left 
his hand there inside. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. That's a big strike right there. Not there. Man, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. It looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, spinning back fist. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Now connects with a right. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing bad. Oh, yeah, no pity pass to this guy. Nah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. We have just reached the midway point of the fight. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round... Oh! All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there... Oh! Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop him. you got to defend, but you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pin. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round, and we will continue to keep an eye on the cut on the nose. That thing is only getting worse. And again, you gotta get that guard up, and even when he does, it seems like the strikes are getting through. That is a significant cut now on the bridge of his nose. Good, nice round, nice round. Relax, take some water, and listen. You're killing... All right, last round, you ready? You ready? Crowd fired up, so are we, third and final round. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice punch by Gaethje. Gaethje gets caught by that straight hand. to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. All right, 
So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fight. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Single collar tie now. Good one. You can really limit the mobility. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Gaethje goes for the clinch here. Looks like, and he gets it. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 23 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, you did exactly that. Congratulations.